So quick question, yo, Drew and Rod, if you think the 2013 Tour de France is cleaner than ever before, my answer would be definitely yes. Look at the physiques of the riders, they're getting so skinny, they're getting super skinny. Everyone's focused on getting as skinny as possible to increase your watts per kilo. When you get skinny, your power goes up when you're fit, and poof, you got the mountains quicker. Let's look at the stats, though. Let's look at the stats. Stage 8 Tour de France results. We got Chris Froome went out there and just smashed it. Went out there and just smashed it. So Chris Froome, here's a graph from the Team Sky a few years ago. Chris Froome was the shittest rider on Team Sky. He was like the the bottom feeder based on this graph. This is basically said, guys, this is what you look like. Chris Froome, you're down here. You're at the bottom, mate. You're a bucket feeder. <laughs> I think Chris got a bit fired up after seeing that and thought, fuck you guys. I'm going to smash his fucking all. I'm going to win the 2030 Tour de France, and barring injury or accident, he definitely will. Look at the watts per kilo he's putting out. So now we have Domestiques winning the Tour de France up there. Stage 8, we have Christopher Froome on the, on the climb. He did a 23.13 on the Aletherm glass climb. Richie Port was second place, only 51 seconds down. And Richie was just sort of like, going, oh, should I attack? Or should I? He was like, just not even sure what he's doing. He's like, oh, you might as well go for it. <laughs> just like riding people like Condor and that off his wheel. GC riders like Contador were finishing over 10% down. Cadell Evans, 20% down. 20% down. TJ Van Garden... Like, 12 minutes down. Like, what's that in percent-wise? That's just nuts. That is nuts. So you've got Domestiques beating GC riders. Guys used to rank top 10 in the tour, poof, 12 minutes behind. Michael Rogers dropped three minutes down on a 23-minute climb. That is, do you know how, if you're doing cycling and you can pick a 23-minute climb, and you think of your mates who are three minutes behind you or a minute behind you or 12 minutes behind you, you're like, holy shit, and you guys used to smoke my ass. Wow, that's crazy. Andy Schleck, 3 minutes 34 down. Just incredible. Cadell Evans, 4 minutes 13 down. So Domestiques beating GC riders. Cloden, 5 minutes down. All these GC riders getting smoked by Domestiques, who were bottom feeders just a couple years ago. So is the sport cleaning up? Robert Guessing right off eight minutes down he's so skinny he's eight minutes off right a hazard of the stick eight minutes 15 down incredible incredible so we've got all these gc riders just getting smashed by domestics domestics um is it getting clean definitely it's getting clean but here's the thing you're gonna ask what about nba nfl swimming athletics is that getting cleaner there's no spotlight on that really is there there's unfairly a spotlight on cycling but like, what about all the other fucking sports? NBA don't even test. They don't even test for testosterone using a carbon isotope ratio test. They don't even do it at all. So basically, you can take as much tea as you want. Human growth hormone, no testing. EPO, no testing in NBA. Blood doping, no testing in NBA. <laughs> so you can do as much fucking shit as you want. EPO, blood doping, testosterone, human growth hormone, IGF-1, insulin. You can do as much as you want in NBA. Doesn't fucking matter because we don't fucking test for it. Incredible. Incredible. So this is a quite interesting tour de France being won by domestics and all the old GC riders of the, of the late just getting smashed by domestics who only a few years ago were doing national series road races and they're just smashing smashing off the front so quite interesting to watch quite interesting to watch i love it and uh yeah it's good to watch so post your comments and questions down below what do you think about this year's tour and uh are you missing too much sleep because i had a late night last night but hey it's good watching